Welcome to the Union County Performing Arts Centre's Hamilton Stage for the production of Thanks Brother by Jared Kellner, directed by Mike Burdick. Your health and safety is our utmost priority, so we ask that you respect the following COVID safety protocols to protect yourself, your fellow audience members and the staff. Please wear your mask over your mouth and nose at all times, and please practice social distancing as you move throughout the theatre. We know that it's been a while since you've had the opportunity to experience live theatre, and we are grateful and excited to welcome you back. As a reminder, here's some important information that you've not heard in a while. Please take this time to turn off your cell phones so as not to distract your fellow audience members. If you are a first responder and need to keep your cell phone on, we simply ask that you please put your phone on silent and dim the brightness of your screen. We thank you for your service. In case of an emergency, please use the exits behind you where you entered, or use the side door at the front left of the theatre. As a courtesy to the audience and the actors, food is not permitted in the theatre. If you intend to enjoy hard candy during the performance, please open it now to avoid distractions during the show. Thanks Brother has a running time of approximately 90 minutes with no intermission. After the show, you are cordially invited to stay for a brief talk-back discussion with the director and actors. And now, please sit back and enjoy. Thanks, brother. Dr. Stein at County General. Here we go. I received your message you left me earlier today, and I'm calling yet again to clarify the process with you. Now, we've spoken about this in my office a number of times, and I'm not sure where the disconnect is, but there is a misunderstanding. There's no misunderstanding. I'm deeply concerned. We need to speak again, Mr. Cole. I'm not working the overnight shift tonight. I will be leaving the hospital promptly at 8 p.m., and then I'll be away with my son and his troop in the mountains, so I will be unreachable until next Friday. Please, Mr. Cole, please call me back before I leave tonight. You have my number. Thank you. Misunderstanding. There's no misunderstanding.
Hey, who's winning? <laughs> Me. Five three, yeah. Give me that shit. Light that shit up. I, I, I ran out of matches. I don't have my lighter. I, I, quit. You, you, you look, uh... Fucking awesome. Yellow. Fuck you, yellow. You, yeah, but you, you look good somehow. Fuck yeah, dude. How's that possible? Don't know. You, you feeling okay? What do you think? I don't know. That's why I'm asking. I'm here one minute, you're already up my ass. Okay, I'm, I'm not up your ass. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just asking you if you're, if you're okay. Oh, you know. Give me a hug, you little prick. <laughs> I'm glad you came. Me too. Mm. All right, enough of that shit. Fucking dehydrated. Got anything to drink here? Water, soda. The fuck, Chad? Nothing to drink, just ice? I must have forgotten to refill it. Guess I'm sucking ice. Fucking cheapskate, scattered brain. You look tired. You tired? I've been tired for a long time, brother. But don't stop that shit. I just got here. I'm, I'm sorry. How was the ride? Tell you one thing, those back roads don't like my hauling. Oh, yeah, I, I bet they, uh, they haven't paid in, I don't know, maybe 20 years, I, I, I think. I, Rock kicked up and dented my exhaust. No. Yeah, whatever, I'll bang it out. You know how to do that? <laughs> bang, bang out a dent? Yeah. Yeah, it's what I do. You just push, you bang, you rub some polish on it, like when you're stroking it. Okay, come on, Tommy. <laughs> you're here all alone in the little house mama gave you. Just you and the mosquitoes. Now, I know you got a tiny dick, but it's still too big to stick it in him, so you gotta be punching that clown in the way, right? You done? Not even close. It's good to see you. You too, brother. Let's go inside. Oh, it's a rush. I like it out of here. Fucking mosquitoes reminds me of old times. You, you, you miss the mosquitoes? Why not? Because they bite. Makes you feel alive in this kind of shit. Hey, do you, do you remember your first night here? What are you doing? What do you mean? You reminiscing? Maybe. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, you were scared. <laughs> I was skeptical. There's a difference. You, you, you were thinking, oh, uh, no, fuck it, he's tight ass. Yeah, why do they want me over for dinner? Yep. You protected me. Damn right I did. I told them about you. You had a hard on for me. Never. Always. Yeah, you wish. You wish. <laughs> they, they, they learn about your situation. Why do you do that? What? It wasn't a situation. No, I, I know. Tragic, forced Hey, her heart went out to you. Predictable. Beautiful. And I'm grateful, always been. You remember uh, what she cooked? Yeah. Do, do you know why? Yeah, she guessed I never ate a homemade pot pie, and, and she wanted me to feel what home meant to her, or some ugly shit like that. Yeah, that was her specialty. Pot pie? No, 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 making people feel loved. Yeah, she was good at that. The best. But what about her hot cocoa? Oh, yeah. Mm. She used to cook that shit over the fireplace. Made the whole house smell sweet. So fucking good. Miss that smell. Me too. Hey, where's that sad little fucking dog? I figured I'd see him running up the drive. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Roscoe? Roscoe? Penelope. What the fuck, Jared? Why would you do that? What? Who named the guy dog Penelope? Someone with a girl dog names her Penelope. He was a girl? Yes. Why do you think she was a guy? I don't know. You know who the fuck is Roscoe? I have no idea. Me neither. Fuck it. Where is she? Gone. What do you mean gone? Like dead gone? Yeah. Fuck. When? Tuesday. This Tuesday? Yeah. Oh, shit, I'm sorry. Thanks. What happened? Coyotes. No yeah, shit. Yeah, out back. You, you saw her? No, no, I, I, I heard it. I, I never heard her scream like that before. It, it, it cut my spine in half. I, 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 I ran out, but by the time I got there, it, it, it was too late. I, could, I couldn't save her. You sure she's dead? Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. There, there were two of them. They, they, they tore her up pretty bad. Fuck. She went, uh, she went limp in the bigger one's mouth before they ran off toward the pond. You want me to take a shotgun and go look for her? No, there's, there's nothing that you could do. It, it happens. Still, you all right? Death is an inevitable part of life. 
Ain't that the truth? Yes, it is. It's been what, six years since mom? Yes. Past six years. Yeah, for you, maybe. <laughs> Don't stop. Okay, I just, I, I just miss you, that's all. Uh, Jared, okay. I'm here, all right? <laughs> I'm here, okay? You haven't been back since she died. It don't mean I don't think about her. Or me? Yeah, you, you okay, need. Where have you been? Here and there. Yeah, you don't call me. Jared, yes, I'm here, Jared. You don't call me. Like, I'm I have to text here. Meg. Are you I know fucking kidding me? You, but... you don't fucking text her. She don't want me in her life. She doesn't get to be in yes, yours. That's but... how it works. I said that's how it works, Jared. I'm here. I'm fine. Can we drop it? Consider it dropped. Thank you. When's everybody getting here? Let's go inside. Yeah, fuck it. Let's go inside. Fuck these mosquitoes. Boots out? Please. Gotta keep them floors clean. I do. <laughs> well, Mama's gonna whoop your ass. Uh, yes, she will. Well, do you want slippers? What do I look like? Do you want them? No, Jeremy, I don't want slippers. Fuck a museum. What? Haven't changed much, have you? Well, I'll get around to it. Six years? Yeah, but it was a fast six years. Oh, fuck off. She willed it to you, you remember that, right? I remember. So you don't need my permission to throw shit out. I know. What are you waiting for? I, I don't know. I, I, I like how she had it. It, it, it reminds me of her. Stuck in the past, time to move forward. You know, I'll always be stuck in the past. Yeah, that was a long time ago. Yeah, for you, maybe. For you too, you're a grown man for Christ's sakes. Grow a backbone, will you? Wounded child, victim syndrome, bullshit, get over it. Sure, Tommy. Is that what we're gonna do tonight, while in your misery? No. Good, because I'm not rehashing it. Okay. Stop being a victim. If you say so. Maybe if you cleaned up a little bit around here, you know? Well, I mean, maybe. Yeah, yeah, maybe so. So when's everybody getting here, huh? What's the big news you're keeping from us? What did you find in the attic? You want to go wash up and use, use the bathroom? I could take a leak. But there's something up with you. You look like you've been chewing on glass all day. You hungry? I could eat. What, what do you want? I don't know. You got any hummus? Hummus? Yeah, you got it. No, but I, I, I love hummus. Hummus is the <laughs> shit, right? You want hummus? Yeah, I want fucking hummus. I'll make you hummus. Make me hummus? Yeah, I'll make you hummus. Like, from scratch and shit? From scratch and shit. Oh, fuck me, you hummus making homo. You make me some fucking hummus. Yeah, you got it. Hey, you got pita? Uh, yes. You got carrots? Uh, I do. Fuck it. Let's eat. How do you know how to make hummus? Well, how do you know how to bang out a dent? It's my job, I know, you know. Uh, yeah, uh, me too. Nice. What else do you know how to make? Uh, paella. What? Paella, I, I, I can make paella. The fuck's paella? It's a rice dish, it's, uh, it's Spanish. Paella? Yes. Is it any good? Yes. Fuck it, let me get some of that paella. I, I don't have the right rice. So you use the wrong rice? No, I, I, I don't have any rice. But you got the hummus. I have the chickpeas, so yes, I, I can make you the hummus. Cool. I'll eat that hummus today. Tomorrow maybe you can get me some of that fucking paella. <laughs> sure, we'll go shopping in town. <laughs> yeah, I got another helmet. You can ride bitch. Just don't stick your cock at me too far. Lovely. We'll go into town. <laughs> like old times. Like old times. Hey, Jeremy? Yes. Where is everybody? Coyotes get them too? Sorry, bad joke. They're on their way. How was the ride? It was a ride, you know. Shit falls on the road, sometimes you pick it up, sometimes you don't. Are you, uh, you tired? Do you, you want to rest? No, I'm good. What about you? What, what about me? Why are you looking so tired? You working hard? Uh, I'm on between jobs right now. Did you get fired? No. You lying? <laughs> yes. You got your ass fired. <laughs> yes. 
What'd you do? Uh, let's, let's just say the chef wasn't a fan of my mise en place. I don't even know what the fuck that is. He didn't like the way that I prepped his food. And when you say prepped his food, what you mean is suck his dick, right? <laughs> Something like that. You fucking whore. Hey, you know what I was thinking about the other day? My dick? <laughs> Seriously. What? Do you, me- do you remember that song that we, that we wrote before we graduated? High school? What other graduation did either of us have? Good point. Do, do, you, do you remember it? I don't know. Was it about us? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Something about uh, what'd you think, or I had a thought, one kid, two kids. One bond. Two hits. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah, a long, long time ago, but we did. We wrote a fucking song, didn't we? Yeah, we did. What about it? Nothing. I was just thinking about it. Were you? Yeah. Why? I don't know. The tune popped into my head, I guess. Did it? Maybe. Just popped in? Yes. Out of nowhere? Yes. And we're talking about it because... No, I just, I just, I just remembered it. That, that's all. It just... And? I just... It, it, uh... Popped into your head? Yes. <laughs> You're fucking weird. You know that? You still play? The song? No, no. Piano. Yeah, if I'm somewhere and someone has one, what about you? Yeah. Not really songs, mostly I just, I, uh, I play how I feel. Play for a slave. Yeah, if the mood strikes me. The mood strikes you. You got a lot of feelings, don't you? Sometimes. Hey, Jeremy? Yeah? Where is everybody and when are they getting here? Uh, Tommy? What? Uh, let, 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 let's, let's sit. Why? Come on, let's talk. We're already talking. What the fuck are you doing? Nothing. What's going on? You're acting like a fucking ferret. Where is everyone? Tommy? Jeremy? What the fuck? It's just us tonight. What's that mean? It means it's just you and me tonight. What are you talking about? You said you invited Uncle Norman and Marsh. I know. And the twins. I know. But you didn't? No. None of them? No. So what the fuck am I doing here? I, I, you said you found something of Mom's in the attic. I, that we all needed to see. That we needed to be together. As a family. I, I lied. About what? All of it. Hold on a second. Tommy. Just hold on no, a fucking no, time. Jared, what are you doing? I, You're pissing me off. I know. Did you or did you not find something of Mom's in the attic? I did not. You did it? No. You lied? Yes. And no one's coming? No. And there's nothing in the attic? Well, there is stuff in the attic, but no, I didn't find anything of hers to show you. I fucking rode seven hours because you said you found something of Mom's in the attic that we all needed to see. I know. That we needed to be together as a family. I know. Your text was cryptic as shit. I know. I know you know. You know how I know? Because you wrote it. Read it to me. My phone died. Read it. Tommy. Read it. It's locked. What's your what's your code? 2806. Our birthdays? Keep reading. Hey Tommy, I hope that you're feeling okay. I, I hope that the doctors have some good news for you. They don't. Is that true? Keep reading. Okay, what, what did they tell you? Keep reading. Can you come to the house on Sunday night? You can sleep in your old room. I invited mom's side over. I found something that she left for us in the attic and I need to show it to all of you together. That's it? That's it. Give me the phone. Sorry. Jeremy, what are you doing? Uh, can we we sit? What's going on? No, I'm not sitting down, you strange little fucking man. Why am I here? Can we sit? No, I'm not sitting down. Do you want a drink? Jeremy, what the fuck are you doing? It's it's fake, it's sparkling apple cider. Do you not understand how this works? What? I'm an alcoholic. Hey, recovering. I told you there's no such thing. But it isn't real, it's just apple juice with bubbles. And what? You think I'm looking for shit to remind me of what destroyed my life? My family? She threw me out like I was gone. I, 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 I don't need a reminder. You don't think I don't think about drinking every day? I, 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 I don't, I I'm don't, asking I don't, you for real, I, right now. I don't know. I can't believe you don't get it. After all these years, after that, do you think that's fucking good for me? I don't know. Well, what do you think? I'm asking you. Okay, I, I thought... I thought that you would appreciate the gesture. The gesture? You throw a shadow of what took me down into my face. And you think I'm going to, what, hug you for it? 
Are you fucking kidding me right now? Do you not know me? Do you not understand what I am? I didn't mean it like that. Give me coffee, give me water. Don't fucking tempt me with bubbly juice. Okay, I didn't mean it like that. Yeah, I know, that's a fucked up part. I'm sorry. Should be. I am. Yeah, but now I feel like the asshole. No, no, don't. I do, though, because I know you didn't mean it like that, but fuck, now I'm the asshole. No, 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 it, it's me. I didn't realize that it was going to trigger you don't, like that. Don't do I, that. Don't use fucking psycho babble trigger shit. I'm, I'm sorry. Stop being sorry. Just get me a fucking cup of coffee. How do you take it? Black and bitter, like my soul. I, I, I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't mean it. I get, I get it. It's not you, it's me, I... I'm sorry. I go off sometimes, especially when people lie to me, I... Sorry. Jeremy. Yeah? Why am I here? Um, I... I Come on, I, spit I, it I, out. I, want, I, I, want, I wanted to... I, yeah? I wanted to thank you. For what? How about the house? <laughs> you're fucking weird, you know that? You're, you're fu your fucking wiring is all fucking frayed. Come on, let me make you hummus. <laughs> Please. Yeah, 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 fuck it, make me the hummus. Okay. But you better tell me why the fuck I'm here. You know you know, the secret is to making a really good hummus? I'm on pins and needles. Uh, well, there, there's two secrets, actually. Now, some people think it's the, uh, the fresh garlic or, or maybe the tahini, but uh, it's not. You don't say. You have to reuse the aquafaba. What the fuck did you just say? I said reuse the aquafaba. Who the fuck are you? I'm serious. So am I. What the fuck is aqua what? Faba, aquafaba. What the fuck is that? It's, it's, it's the, uh, the chickpea water. Why do you do that? What? Just call it chickpea water. No, but that's what it's called, aquafaba. <laughs> You're a fucking alien. And, and the other? Oh, I'm dying to know. You have to dust the chickpeas with paprika and warm them in the toaster uh, before you mash them up. It softens the fibers. My life has forever been changed. Thank you for bringing that joy into my world. Maybe I'll celebrate by drinking some fake fucking champagne. I threw it out. Jared, don't throw it out because of me. You want to drink it, drink it. Too late, it's gone. How are your kids? No, we're not doing that. Sorry. You want to tell me what the doctor said? Nope. Come on, Tommy, you're yellow. I know what that means. <laughs> Do you? Yes. What's it mean? It means I'm staring at Dad again. <laughs> Is that right? What did they tell you? What do they want to know? The diagnosis. Diagnosis? That's a good one. What did, what did they say the treatment is? Treatment? There's no treatment. There's only a transplant. And? And? And, and, and are you on the list? No. What, why not? Did they deny you? No. So then what do you have to do to get on the list? Well, you start off by not being an alcoholic, shredding your body hey, liver. Be serious. I am. It ain't looking good for me, brother. I, I need you to be serious. What do you want to know? The truth. Why? What, what, what do you mean, why? Because. Because why? Because we're brothers. No, we're not. Don't say that. You don't share my blood. Yes, I do. We're just two random people that collided one That's day. not true. It is, and you know it. No. Just because your parents signed some papers doesn't make us brothers. You don't believe that. You sure about that? Yeah, if you did, then why are you here? That's what I'm asking you. Why the fuck am I here? Because we're brothers, and brothers help brothers when they need help. Are you listening to yourself? No, I'm listening to you. I'm not saying anything. So then talk. Tell me what I can do to help you. What you can do? You want to cut out your liver and give it to me? Yes. Your whole fucking liver. Whatever it takes. Great. Cut it out. Throw it in a Ziploc. I'll go to the hospital right now. Fuck the hummus. What's it, like 10 miles down the back? I'm serious. Shut the fuck up. What did they tell you? I don't I don't know, Jeremy. Why am I here if there's nothing in the fucking ass? How long? Put that shit down and you're going to cut How long? I don't know, Jeremy. Three months, six months, I tuned them out. You have a death wish. Fuck you. What would your kids say? You're an asshole. Oh, don't run away. I'm not running. So, so then what are you doing? I don't know. What are you, what are you afraid of? Look, they don't go throwing out livers at alcoholics. We're not exactly on top of the list. Is that true? I don't know. The damage is done. You scared? Of course I'm fucking scared. Jeremy, let me help you. Jeremy, look. The guy said it's not some outpatient bullshit. 
It's a total rebuild. I need a whole new liver, not just a loaf or some shit like that, okay? So look, I'm dead already. <laughs> I'm just kicking up stones as long as I can. And even though I wanted to, I don't have the cash. Shit costs as much as this fucking house. Doctor bills, anti-rejection drugs, rehab, therapy. I don't have it, so it ain't worth talking about. <laughs> Jeremy! Relax. I talked to the doctors, the shrinks. They told me, I did everything they told me to do. But look, my ticket ain't gonna get punched. And it is what it is, and what it is ain't what you wanna hear. So I'm begging you, Jer, please, drop. Were you going to tell me? Figured you'd read about it in the obits. Now who's the asshole? Sorry. I know. I didn't mean to say we were brothers. I know you didn't. I love you. Don't make it weird. Sorry. Thank you for telling me. Yeah, whatever. Where's my fucking hummus already? You and your rock with Velvet are taking fucking forever. <laughs> okay. Tell me that this isn't the best hummus that you have ever tasted. Fuck. <laughs> it's good, real good, yeah, yeah. It's the uh the aqua faba, yeah. <laughs> and the toasting. I taste it. It's got some uh smoky shit going on. Yummy, right? Fucking A yummy. <laughs> you like to cook a lot, huh? Us. Sometimes it uh, helps me when I'm I'm feeling sad. What do you got to be sad about? You got this house, you got a good life, you got a lot of shit to live for. Mm. Do I? You feeling sorry for yourself again? Oh, it's not really again. <laughs> Come on, Jeremy, that was years ago. How long since your last drink? Why are you asking me that? Just asking. Four years, seven months. But you're still an alcoholic? Yeah. Are you uh, recovering? I told you there's no such thing. You know what today is? Sunday? No, I, I mean the date. I don't know, what's it, like the 8th? The 10th. Okay, and? Ask me how long ago it was that you pulled the Castellano brothers off of me, pulled me out of the pond, stopped them from drowning me, and, and kicked their ass. Why? Just ask what me. What are you getting at? Please. Okay. How long ago did I kick their ass for you? 30 years ago. That long? Yeah. Today. It's 30 years ago to the day that you saw the Castellano brothers making a mess out of me. Oh, come on, man. I don't like it when you're feeling sorry for yourself. Castellano brothers, they, they, they were tough. Bunch of guinea assholes. You busted them up pretty bad. Fuck yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the sound of the, the fat one's ribs cracking when <laughs> I stomped them. <laughs> Luca's nose was all twisted. Yeah. Busted up real bad. Looked, looked like the letter S when yeah. it yeah. That's why we called him Sucker after that. <laughs> we sure did. So what? That's why I'm here? Some fucking depressing anniversary party? It's not a party. It's not something that I, I want to celebrate. But you do this shit every year? Uh, every day. What does that mean? I think about it every day. What? Me kicking their ass? Sure, that, but, but also about everything else. Like what? You don't want to hear my sob stories. You, you've made that clear. Come on, eat, eat, eat the hummus. No, you can tell me. You want to know? Yes. Why? Don't worry about it. Okay. Uh, well, it wasn't just the Castellano brothers, and it wasn't just once. You, you know that, right? I mean, I, I know you got knocked around a bunch before I got here, but no, I... I don't really know too much. Mom didn't say too much. She told me not to ask you. And dad, well, dad was dad, you know? 
Yeah, well, it didn't help to have a father that was ashamed of you, I can tell you that. He wasn't ashamed of you. Well, let's not rewrite history, Tommy. He was ashamed. And he was cruel. But I, I would take that over the rest of it any day. The rest of what? The, the, the bullying. Look, you might think it's nothing because you're you, but it's not nothing, it's something. Was it bad? Yes. How bad? Do I seem okay to you? Honestly? Yes. No. Have I ever? No, not really. There's your answer. Tell me. You sure? Yeah. Okay. You remember uh, back in school? Uh, are you sure? Yes, I want to know. Okay. Remember back in school that piece of cardboard, the, the rectangle one with all the uh, the thumbtacks on it? Yeah. yeah. Some of the kids. The, Which the, kids? It, it, it doesn't matter. It's not who. It's it's what. The Castellanos. And, and others, but yes, the Castellanos. Do you remember the thumbtacks? Yeah. Did you know that there's 120 thumbtacks on each one? No. 120. They used to push the points through the cardboard so that the points popped out the other side. And they, they, they would put it on my chair with the, with the points up and then shove me down hard on top of it so it stabbed me. And then Luca would punch my thighs to make sure that the tacks got in all of the way. Fuck. Every month. Once a month they would do that and I would bleed and they would see blood on my pants and then they would sing, Jeremy got his period, Jeremy got his period. Fucking assholes. The girls, they were, they were just as bad, maybe even worse. How? They used to throw their tampons at me, stick their pads on the back of my pants and I, I came home one time and dad saw one stuck in my pants and let's just say he did not react well. I want to kill these little fuckers. Uh, teachers too. What do you mean teachers too? Mrs. Walters, do uh, you remember her? Don't know. She's a fifth grade social studies teacher. She kind of looked like a, a walrus. Do you, do you remember her? I think she tutored me. She was a special kind of an animal. How come? I had a, a pretty bad stutter when I was little. I, I still do sometimes. What'd she do? She told this girl who sat behind me in class to take her pencil out and stab me in the back every time that I stuttered. A teacher said that? Yeah. And the girl did it? Yes. Sick of fucking she bitch. She laughed every time, too. Mom got really good at pulling broken pieces of lead out of my back. Okay, enough. Uh, syrup of Ipecac in my milk? Syrup of Ipecac. It makes you vomit. They did that? A lot, yeah. Uh, they rubbed poison ivy on my face. They, uh, they, 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 they put snot on my locker. They pulled my pants off in, in, in gym class in front of the girls. Yeah, more? No. Yeah, because I'm just naming a few. So it wasn't just the Castellano brothers, and it wasn't just that one time at the pond. It was relentless. It was my entire childhood, and, 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 and for what? Because they saw something in me that I didn't really know about myself until years later. Come on, Jeremy. Yeah, you, you say that you're uh, a, a, an alcoholic. You, you haven't had a drink in almost five years. Yeah, you always will be. And you, you, you feel this pain, this, this pull that's inside of you that just makes you feel like you're never fully present. Like you're wearing somebody else's skin, like you're, like you're an alien. You're, you're fighting this battle inside of your head, inside, in, 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 inside your heart. Just makes it impossible to take a full breath because of the uh, shame. Yeah, the shame. Oh, it's deep. It's too deep to dig it out. Even if you wanted to, it's in you forever. In your insides, they feel like they're being torn apart with jagged fingernails. Yeah. I felt like that every day of my life, Tommy. Jeremy. Tired. I'm, I'm, I'm so tired. I'm sorry, I never thought about it like that, you know? Well, why would you? I always thought about it different, you know? Cause yeah, I know. 
because you didn't do it to yourself like I did, that maybe you could blame somebody else. And and I don't know. I, I always thought uh, kids get their ass kicked and move on, that it doesn't destroy lives. Yeah, that would be nice to be able to open up my chest, just let it all fly away. But it's stuck in there. Deep. Probably how I feel. It's probably exactly how you feel. No recovery, huh? No recovery. I love you. You wouldn't be here if you didn't. Thanks for telling me. Thank you for asking. Aquafaba, huh? <laughs> Chickpea water. Yeah, who would have thought? That's it. What? The line from the song. Sit down. Wait, 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 was that it? I think so. Uh, C D G D. Uh, uh, G G G D. C D and then and then C D again. Yeah, yeah. Something like that. That sounds good. Like old times. Like old times. Kids think I'm scum. No, they don't. They do, and I am. Stop it. Look who's out the new now. I'm here. But that's not your job. I promised. Promised what? Nothing. I'm just babbling. Maybe it's time that you lean on me. It's not supposed to work like that. Would you do me a favor? What? Call your kids. Jared, Tell them that you love them they, and that everything is going to they be They're not going to pick up. Okay, so leave a message. I have to call my sponsor. Okay.
called him to? Why are you doing this? Why do you think? Because you love me. Because I love you. I maybe get some privacy. Yeah, of course. You're proud of me. Hey, it's Tom. Sorry I missed your birthday. That, that was shitty of me. I, I meant to call. Things just got away, you know. Work and stuff. Uh, look, um, if you're around tonight, could you maybe uh, call me back? Uh, I kind of need to talk. I mean, if you eat your grandkids, don't call. I get it. But if you can, call me back, right? Thanks. Uh, later. Bye. TJ, it's Daddy. It's okay. I, I, I knew you wouldn't pick up. I get it. Um, uh, I, I love you. I hope Little League's good. I bet you're crushing that ball, aren't you? You got a big back, kid. Never be afraid to swing away. Look, I know I fucked up. I mean, sorry. I, I messed things up real bad with you, your mom, and Ashley. I, I don't know what I'm doing. Fuck. Fucking mosquitoes. Sorry, buddy. I'm at Uncle Jeremy's right now. Uh, getting eaten alive out here. Probably should just let him eat me until I'm gone. Look, I don't know how to say the right things so you know how much I fucking love you. And I want you to know I'm so sorry I let you down. I wish I could have been better for you, for both of you, and your mom. Your mom was right to kick me out. Don't ever be mad at her. It was better for you, for all of you. But I'm trying. I'm trying real hard to hold it together, but I'm running out of road, little man. I just want you to know I think about you all the time. And I love you with a heart so big it could pump for a million dads. I mean that. You and Ashley are everything to me. And I'm so sorry I let you down. I wish I could have been better for you, for both of you and your mom. Do me a favor, buddy. Hug yourself real tight. And pretend it's my arm squeezing the breath out of you. And kiss Ashley on the top of the head like I used to. And tell her she's my little butterfly. Okay, buddy. I'll see you soon. Bye.
It's nice. Panico? Didn't pick up. What did your sponsor say? I left a message. It's okay. You want to talk about it? No, I'm alright. Okay. Actually, uh... What? You got any bourbon? Whiskey? I do. I bet you pour me a glass. You sure you want to do that? No. I'll pour it anyway. Is this better than the uh, the bubbly juice? At least if I'm going down, let it be with my good friend, Johnny Jack or Jim. They're not your friends, Tommy. They're, they're your Castellano brothers. It's when you know so much. Can I ask you something? What? Why drink? Yeah? You saw what it did to Dad. Why, why would you do that? Am I at a meeting right now? Is it my time to share? No, of course not. I'm just trying to make sense of it. Well, well there's your problem. Does your shit make sense? No, no, I, I, I guess not. So why would mine? It wouldn't. It would just be. Yep. You gonna pour us some drinks? I haven't decided yet. Why don't I just put it away? Let me just look at it a while. What's my lesson today, old friend? On my way here, I was riding on 46, running low. So I pulled over by the roller ring. You know what that is? The, across from the, the ball field? Yeah. I know it. Right there. So I'm filling up and there's this game going on across the road. I hear lots of cheering, screaming, laughing. So I park my bike, walk over, you know? See what's going on, see who's playing who. And? And it's one of these little league games, you know? Teams are wearing these local shop t-shirts. Turns out, Sun Sun Chinese restaurant team in yellow is kicking the shit out of Route 22 lumber team in blue. And the lumber kids are pissed because the yellows are supposed to be a bunch of fairies. Some shit like that, no offense. I hear the parents yapping. Sun Sun makes good spring rolls, you would like them. Yeah, whatever. So the game's done, and I'm walking back to my bike, and I see one of the kids from the pussy team holding his mom's leg, and he's crying. They won, but he's crying so hard he can't even breathe. And his sister's crying, because her brother's crying. And as I walk past him, I hear the kid say, Daddy missed it all. Daddy missed it all. Daddy missed it all. Tommy? And the mom's doing everything she can to hold it together, but she can't, because she knows it'll never be better. And we sort of lock eyes, the mom and me. And she's got these cold green eyes, like jade stone daggers. And she stares into me for two, maybe three seconds, if that. But it was long enough to know what she was thinking. I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill this bastard dead. Where the fuck is he? And why would he do this again? Then I get real sad. Because I'm not, I'm not a moron. I know it's me. I'm the same as this kid's loser father. I'm the asshole that crushes dreams because I'm selfish. No, you're not. I am and I know it. Why else would I do it? And I'm not looking for sympathy. I know I don't deserve it. So the game's done and I'm walking back to my bike and I'm feeling like fuck. Like, I don't know, like dried up dog shit that gets stuck in the crack of your boots that never comes out no matter how much you, you, you scrape it. 
And then I kind of stop in the middle of the road and I look up to the sky. And I don't know what I'm looking for, but I'm hoping for something to make me feel like less of a fucking failure. Then these dads from the Sun Sun team come past me, celebrating their big win over the Lumber Bullies. And the one dad, he's drunk, you can tell. Walks past me, drops a six pack right at my feet. Fucker didn't even see it. Just kept walking. <laughs> so now I'm standing there in the middle of the road, looking down at this beer. And I'm thinking hard, real hard about Meg, TJ, Ashley, Mom, Dad, and you. And I'm thinking it's some kind of fucking test, you know? And I'm feeling really fucking low. So low, I didn't even have to bend down to pick it up. Because I was already that low, you know? And I did it. I picked it up and I dragged my sorry ass over to the bench by the bathroom. I took a deep breath and I let that sewer stench sting my lungs. I fucking drank them. I fucking drank them all. Pop, chug, crush, toss. Pop, chug, crush, toss. Pop, chug, crush, toss. Six times. Maybe five minutes, maybe two hours, I don't know. But when I can finally stand without stumbling east to west, I got on my bike and I came here. Four years, seven months, back to one. Tomorrow you'll start anew. <laughs> it's gonna take a lot more than tomorrow to start anew. That's what I'm here for. Thanks, brother. What is it? I miss her. She'll forgive you one day. I met mom. I met mom, I miss her. Me too. I miss her with um, six more years of experiences and, and ideas and, and, and questions. Time brings new crossroads and, and losses, but uh, I think more importantly, it brings a new perspective. I miss the layers of us. I wish I could talk like you. I don't know what the fuck you're saying half the time, but it sounds real good to me, you know? It softens me up, makes me feel warm inside. You like the, the, uh, the chickpeas in the toaster? Like a pot pie. Like a pot pie. Hey, can I ask you something? What now? When you jumped in and, and pulled them off of me, the, the, the Castellanos, yeah, yeah. Did you know that I was gay? What does that got to do with anything? I'm just asking. Jeremy, you were a purple fucking nail polish for fuck's sake. Everybody knew. No, no, that wasn't purple. That was China Berry. <laughs> it was China Berry. Did you know? Why are you asking? Always wanted to know why someone like you would save someone like me. What do you mean, someone like me? An alcoholic? You weren't like that back then? Jeremy, I've been drinking since I'm seven. No. Yeah. Fucking forced the family to give a fuck about me. No curfews, no rules. I used to look, leave a bottle of hooch out. Grabbed it off the table one night. Went out, drank. Woke up 4 a.m. in a puddle of puke. My cheek was stained orange for three days. Darker than I am now. That's sad. That was the, uh, the, the first time that you drank? First time I remember. I probably had a beer or two before that. I can't remember. 
What about you? When was your first? Oh, I don't know. I think mom let me have a, a glass of wine at dinner one time when I was five or six. No, 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 no. Not, not that. Your first, you know, geisha. Geisha. Yeah. <laughs> wow, okay. You want to go there? No. Yeah. Yeah, fuck it. Let's do it. Let's talk about cock and balls. <laughs> You're an idiot. You yeah. know that. <laughs> yep. So? No, you don't want to know this, Tommy. You don't want me to tell you this. I do. Let's uh, do this. No, you're going to be pissed. Come uh, on. Yes, you were really pissed. What, you fucking touch me when I was sleeping or no. some shit? Gross. What the? No, Who? I'm, I'm telling you, you don't want to know this. Talk. Don't, don't blow up. I won't blow promise up. Promise me. I promise. It was ninth grade, and I was walking home from school. Oh, baby. And uh, a car pulled up. Creepy. Canary yellow Cadillac with a hard top and white leather seats. Wait, I remember that car. He pulled up and waved at me. Are you fucking kidding me right now? I, I walked over and it was him. Fuck you. He asked me to get in. Get the fuck out of here. Are you lying to me? He said that he wanted to apologize for how his sons treated me all of those years at Lincoln and Pine Ridge. And you got his car. I did. Mr. fucking Castellano. Yes. Why would you do that? I don't know. He seems sincere. Sincere? Yes. I'll fucking kill him. He's dead already. Well, fucking dig him up and kill him again. They cremated him. Good. The fucking deserved to burn. It wasn't his fault. No, no, no. His kids turned out like assholes all on their own. What, what did he do? Like rape you or something? No, it wasn't like that. What the? I got in. He drove to the pond. He parked. And, and, and we started talking. He was gay? Yes. Mr. Castellano? Yes. But he was a butcher. And? And he was married. His wife knew. Mr. His kids fucking suspected Castellano. something. Yeah, they, they, they did. They, he said that's why they used me as their punching bag. He started to cry. Fucking predator. He, he, he pulled me over and he held me. I had a file. And dad never held me like that. And somehow we started touching and, and, and kissing. Okay, and, enough. And then there was this bang on the window. What bang? And when we both jumped. What bang? It was, it was Luca and Angelo. They, they were at the pond. He didn't know. They, they, they came over. They saw his car. They were staring at us through his window. Jeremy. They, they looked small. Fragile. He panicked. He, uh, he, he pushed my door open. Threw me out. Sped away. Just left me laying there in the mud with my pants unzipped. Just staring up at them. And they did not look so small anymore. Jeremy, that's why they started to drown you? Yes. I, I can't hear this shit. Sorry. How could you do that with him? I don't know. He was fucking dad's age. I know. Jeremy, this makes no sense. It's not, it's not supposed to make sense. Look, if that's what you said, it will never make sense. But they tortured you. They did. And what? This is how you fought back by fucking around with their father? I don't know. I didn't think about it like that back then, but maybe. Maybe subconsciously I was trying to fight back to, to make them feel what they made me feel all those years. I don't, I don't know. And? And, and I don't know. I only saw him one time again after that. When? A few days later, the, the day that you came over for dinner the first time. What? Mom asked Dad to get a chicken from the butcher shop so she could make you the pot pie. I don't remember why, but Dad made me go with him. And Mr. Castellano, he gave me a free sample of sliced smoked turkey breast. Three pieces. You fucking scumbag. And Dad shook his hand and thanked him. And then Mr. Castellano, he, he looked at me and he said, uh, got a handsome boy there. Piece of shit. I just stood frozen, staring at the, the, the cracks in the floor. And Dad smacked the back of my head, and he says, what do you say to the man? And so I, I looked up and I said, thank you, sir. And then we left. The ride home, Dad says, uh, that Castellano, that's a real stand-up guy. You can learn a lot from him, the way he treats his customers. That is loyalty right there. And I, and I told Dad that I did not want the turkey. And he yelled at me. He says, a man gives you food, you eat it, so eat it. He stared at me like he used to when he was enraged. Waited at the light making cars go around him until I I pushed the turkey into my mouth all, all at once. And 
I drove home the whole way like that, drooling all over myself and gagging. Still makes me gag when I think about it. But I didn't, I didn't chew it. I didn't swallow it, none of it, not even my turkey-scented saliva. And when we got, got home, I ran to the side of the house and I, and I, I threw up. I, <sighs> I never saw Mr. Castellano again, and so I live with him buried inside of me along with everything else. You're exhausting. I know, I'm tired too, Tommy. Can you get rid of this shit, please? Of course. You got some place to be? What? What's with the watch? Uh, nothing, just that time, time goes by too fast when I'm, when I'm with you, that's all. Jeremy. Yes? Why am I here? What is this? Open it. What is this? What's it look like? Bunch of medical shit, mortgage <laughs> papers. Right. You mortgaged the house? I did. Why? Why do you think? To get cash? For you. For me? For you. Why? Because mom asked me to. What? Before she died, she asked me to look after you. That, that's why she gave me the house. What are you talking about? She said that after she passes, that it was going to be my turn to look after you, to repay you somehow for looking after me all those years, and if you ever needed any kind of help, that I should use the house, do whatever I needed to do to help you. I don't get it. It was her way of saying thank you, just making sure that you were okay. Why not just give me the house so I can take care of it myself? I asked her that. And? And she said brothers help brothers, and it was my job now. I still don't get it. It's what she wanted, but... I don't think that we're supposed to try to make sense of it. It just is. But what else is in there? Confirmation of a blood type match? Correct. Living donor papers? Yes. I'm not taking your fucking liver. Why not? Because. But, but, but why, why won't you let me do this? They don't let you decide this shit on your own. You know that, right? You, you gotta take tests. Lots of fucking tests. They gotta make sure you're not doing it for money or some shit like that. Yeah, and then you're right in the head, especially you. And they gotta make sure, you know, this shit goes sideways yeah, sometimes. But it, it's not that simple. No, but it is that simple, okay? I can't do this anymore. What are you talking about? The inevitable? Shut the fuck up. Look, you're I, talking crazy right now. I will now. not come out the other I'm side of it. I'm not doing disappear for good this time. I'm not doing this. Think about Meg and the kids. I am. So then why won't you let me help you? Because that's not how it works. I promised. Fuck. Promised what? Nothing. Tommy, we're living with ghosts. It was a long time ago. I, I need to hear it. All you need to know is that he loved you. Okay, he didn't love me. Okay, not the way a real father should love a son. He did, though. He just didn't know why you were the way you were. What? Uh, um, why I was the way that I was? What, what's the matter? Can't you say it? Hey, hey, I don't give a shit. You want to be gay, be gay. Don't bother me none. Uh, uh, sure, and that's why you called me a homo. What? Before. When? You called me a hummus-making homo. Shut the fuck you up. You did. Come on, Jeremy. You did. So sensitive. It's hurtful. Sorry I called you a homo, okay? Do you mean it? Yeah. I'm sorry. I, I know better. Thank you. So what were we talking about? Oh, yeah, fucking dad. Yes, dad. Um, look. He loved you. He just came from different kind of people, is all. Yeah, if that was love. Jeremy, he didn't know why you were the way you were. He thought that maybe he did it to you. Fucked up his cum somehow because because he drank and he smoked. I'm telling you, he was ashamed. No, no, he I'm wasn't. I'm telling he you, wasn't. he was. He told me he felt like a fucking failure. He looked me in the eye, man to man, and he made me shake his hand. He made me promise to do his job to make sure that no one ever fuck with you ever again. And I was a fucking kid, mind you. He made me promise the same shit again right before he died. That was a contract. He signed the papers. He gave you a bodyguard for life. And that's what I've done ever since then. I protect you. I save you. I'm the strong one. 
You don't save me. And what about you? What about me? What did you get out of this? First, a, a bed, food. And then? Then I got you. Got a brother. It's time to let it go. Yeah, you're, you're, your contract is done. Let me pull you out of the pot. Let, let me breathe life back into you. You've done enough for me for more lifetimes than I can live. Yeah, let me give your kids their father back. Please. You want to help me? Of course I do. You want to give me your liver? I do. Because you love me? Yes. And because I made the bullies go away? Yes, you did. And because I can't do it on my own? Because we're brothers. Brothers help brothers when they need help. <laughs> Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Okay. Okay. Yeah, but on well, one condition. Okay, well, we well, gotta play by the rules. Uh, but and only if they say we could do it with just a piece, not but, the whole no, no, fucking but thing. I, I, That's my rules, and I ain't backing down, Jay. Sure, Tommy, whatever you say. Shake my hand like I shook dad's. Look me in the eye, man to man. And we'll go to the hospital tomorrow and make an appointment like same people. Together. Brothers. I'd like that. What the fuck is that? <laughs> you want to know something? What? I say a prayer every night before I go to bed. You do? Yes. That's good, Jared. It's good to do that. Yeah. You know what I say? No. Uh, of course not. How, how could you? I say, God doesn't exist, at least not for me, but someone saved my life, and his name is Tommy. I've said that prayer every night for 30 years. I, I, I know it's silly, but it, it helps me sleep. Jared, come here. Yeah. Don't ever say my name like that ever again. That fucking Tommy shit is fucking creepy. Sorry. I pulled you out of the pond, didn't I? You sure did. I kicked their ass for you, didn't I? Yes, yes, you did. Mom and Dad thanked me by giving us each other, didn't they? They did. Long time ago. Feels like yesterday. Fuck them Castellanos. <laughs> yeah. Fuck them all. Sure, Tommy. <laughs> hey, Jared? Yeah. One thing I never asked you, uh... What's that? How come you never got out of here? Got away from this shit. Why are you asking? Always wondered. Dad died, Mom needed me, I stayed. That, that's all there was to it. You should have gotten out. What, try to outrun my memories? Maybe. I'm not that fast. You, you should have gotten out, had a life of your own. You deserve that. Like I said, mom needed me. There's no point to trying to change the past. I, I, I lived the life that I was meant to live. Sure about that? Yeah, I'm sure. All right. What about you? What about me? Did you live the life that you were meant to live? What do you think? You want to tell me where you've been the last six years? Nope, but I think you're gonna make me. No. Mom dying got me really fucked up and twisted. And I got involved with these guys. Six years worth? I would've came back if I could. Did Meg know what was going on? Yeah. The kids? No. She's too good of a mom to let that happen, no way. They just knew I fucked up. You safe now? Yeah, I'm good. Good. I'm glad you're here. I missed you. Me too. Tommy? Yeah? Wh why were you there? 
Where? At the pond. That day, why, why were you there at the exact moment that I needed you? Now that's something you don't want to know. Why? Because it'll make you sad. You're already the saddest little fucking boy in the whole world. Tell me. Where I slept. Where? At the pond. What? Under the bridge. Ooh, what, what about your foster family? I told you. I was just a paycheck for them. They didn't give a fuck about me. So you, you slept at the pond? Yep. With the mosquitoes? Yep. My little biting buddies. Mo Mosquito, Larry Mosquito, Curly Mosquito. The Three Stooges? <laughs> Those funny fuckers. <laughs> That's why you call them mosquitoes. Yep. Kept my mind right, you know, and I never knew which one was going to bite me next. Kept me sharp, you know. Were you cold? I got cold, yeah. Were you scared? Of what? I don't know, anything, everything? I was a kid, of course I was scared. Then I heard you screaming. And I never heard anyone scream like that before. It sounded like, well, it probably sounded like Penelope did right before the coyotes bit down real hard. So I crawled out from under that bridge and I saw what I saw. And I saw the Castellanos holding you under and something in me just told me to stop punching and kicking, so that's what I did. And you saved me, you, you saved my life. Now you're gonna save mine. Yes, I am. Because you're strong. Not like you. Stronger. If you say so. I do. Hey, Jeff. Yeah. Before I came around, did you ever uh, fight back or stand up for yourself, Tony? Once. What happened? She kicked my ass. <laughs> Sorry, Jay, I gotta take this. Hello. Yeah, happy birthday. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, uh, look, <clears throat> I'm not alone right now. Uh, no, it's still a good time. Just, just hang on a second. Uh, Jared, it's my sponsor. I, I gotta take this. How long will you be? Five minutes. Could you grab some firewood from the backyard? I can't seem to get myself to go back there just yet. You making a fire? Uh, hot cocoa. <laughs> Fuck yeah, you are. <laughs> Tommy? Yeah. Thank you. For what? Everything. Jared, uh, I think. Sorry, talk to your sponsor. It's important. Thanks. I'll clean up the mess. Thanks, brother. Hey, it's Tom. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm good now. Yeah. Sorry about that. No, I'm not. I did. Earlier. You mad? A beer. I know. Yeah, I checked over. There's, there's one at the hospital, like ten miles down the road. I'm, I'm at my brother's. Where I used to live. Yeah, 5 a.m. You sure? All right. Uh, I'll call you in the morning, then we can figure it out. Nine one one. Yeah, this is uh, Tom, uh, Tommy Cole. Yeah, I'm at my brother Jeremy's house. It's a 10 Pondview Road, Catesburg. Yeah, he, he, he fucking killed himself. Yeah, I, I found him in a bathtub full of ice. He's cut up real bad. Uh, he left a note. He says, you got to call Dr. Frederick Stein, a county general. Tell him that he's sorry that he's going to let his son down, but there is no misunderstanding. He's got to get to surgery right now. Hurry. Oh. Mosquito. Drink up. Meg, hi. Good, you? Good, the kids? Good. Jared, Glad tell me good. Look back here. Look, uh, you put the lights on? I, I, I don't have a lot of time. I'm just, uh, 
and calling to tell yeah. him that he's going to be okay. They found a donor. Lies. No, it's great news. No. Yeah, look, I just um, I want to thank you. Me. Just want to thank you for, for calling me the other week and letting me know that he wasn't looking good because well, I, I, I don't want to think about what would have happened. Uh, I don't want to think yeah. about it. Just, just, just uh, do me a favor. Kiss your kids for me. Tell, tell, tell them that, it, that I miss them. And, uh, yeah. I have to go. 